Hello, friends. Welcome back to the Poplar Report. Um, we have an out outrageous order coming in from Kentucky, uh, which strips parents and pastors of uh, a lot of influence. And of course, that's being handed to the states. Very concerning out there. We got power bills going up a lot. We got insulin going issues going on up there. A lot of reports and updates coming from you guys from all over. I am coming to you from Brussels uh, at the European Parliament. Uh, we also have uh, Joanne is going to share an interesting story of how uh, she denied farm fresh eggs and clean chicken to someone who started off going off on Trump and uh, hear her story and share what you think about uh, what she did. Is it okay? Is it not okay? Um, is, is that a direction we need to be going in? Welcome to the Poplar Report. I'm Steve Poplar. I'm an accountant by trade and I am here in Europe at the European Parliament in Brussels. Um, if you guys have an update that you'd like to share with the group, make sure you use the word update somewhere in your comment. Um, and uh, we will keep things going. Uh, before we dive in, we do want to thank our sponsor, Genesis Gold Group. They help people who have retirement accounts to get into gold, silver, or platinum. If uh, you want to get out of stocks and bonds into something safer with your retirement account, then uh, check out Jonathan and his team at Genesis Gold. A lot of you have. You found uh, that they answer your questions, educate you, and they don't uh, try to push you into anything. We got more bees over here in Europe than we do in the United States. That is one thing I have noticed. Um, but um, okay, let's uh, jump in here. Um, first off, uh, thank you all uh, for uh, how supportive you guys have been of my action to, uh, to get healthy. Um, I am uh, doing this trip uh, primarily to get healthy. My original plan was to go to the West Glen Way and hike through Scotland for about 15 days uh, instead of this. But of course, the UK started throwing people in prison uh, for posting things like I had already posted on YouTube. So um, we had to change things uh, pretty dra dramatically and come up with a plan B. So that's what we've done. But um, all right, so friends, it is time to start talking about the longshoremen strike uh, in the, uh, the United States East Coast ports. Um, if you can hear that, there's a protest going on out there. I'm not exactly sure who they are. Uh, I, it didn't look like a Muslim majority, um, so I'm not sure if it's an African group or whatever, but uh, they apparently have an <laughs> opportunity to protest here. Um, hey, say what you will about the European Union. Um, I'm here. I'm not really fearing any kind of persecution that I'm standing in front of the European Union and talking. I, I got a tour of their facility. Uh, well, they have like a visitor center, and I went through that and, and listened to uh, the history of the European Union. Very interesting stuff. But uh, So the longshoreman strike is going to start taking place uh, apparently October 1st. October 1st, we're going to be looking at uh, having a... Um, a strike across the East Coast uh, ports as well as um, the Gulf Coast. So um, we're looking at uh, a lot of ports not having uh, people to unload cargo, people to move the cargo. Um, that is going to really impact a lot of people, a lot of businesses. Um, a lot of products aren't going to move. Um, and so depending on how long that takes to break up, uh, at this point, it looks like Biden is saying he's not going to use his executive authority to break up the strike or to uh, have a cool off period. Uh, that is something that the, uh, the Biden administration has done before in order to stop a major strike back when we had the railroad strike uh, on the horizon. Uh, so now that we have the longshoreman strike, uh, the question is, where are they going to use that? And Biden is saying he's not going to. So I don't know if he's got another plan up his sleeve to break it up or, or what. But but um, with recent uh, ways governments have been uh, not tolerating these types of strikes uh, recently, I wouldn't be surprised if they are planning on doing something authoritative uh, where the uh, government just basically decrees everyone has to go back to work. Uh, all right, so we got... Uh, uh, regarding the uh, Baofeng radios, beepers, and cell phones, I know a lot, a lot of you guys are concerned about this. Um, I will say two things. One, again, uh, these were tampered with devices. The devices were tampered with before they got to the people, right? So this is not regular devices. These devices had extra stuff in them uh, that made them do what they did. Now, hackers do know how to set your battery on fire. 
Um, that is something that has been shown to be that they know how to do that. Um, so there is a threat of that. So they could set fire to your phone, set fire to your home even with that. So be aware of that and just be thinking about like what, what you do with fire safety around your home um, because that is a concern. Uh, but, uh, but it won't do anything like what we're seeing in the videos and stuff like that across the Middle East. Uh, that is not standard you know, cell phones or beepers or anything like that. So you don't have to be super concerned about that. But like I said, um, what happens if a state actor were to decide to set all the cell phones on fire inside the United States simultaneously? Um, you wouldn't get any kabooies, kablooies, <laughs> but you would get a lot of fires. Okay, and a lot of and people's cell phones are suddenly not working either. So that would be a major, major issue. Um, that's something else we need to be thinking about, right? Uh, asymmetrical warfare. Uh, this is from Bryant. No sugar in Ripley, Ohio, Dollar General either. No five pound bags of rice in Ripley, Ohio. Only one pound bags. Been out for about two weeks. I switched over to stocking up on beans until they hopefully start stocking it again. I ride a bicycle to get around and the nearest town with another store is 12 miles away. Um, keep stocking up friends because things are changing out there and you never know when your store will stop stocking stuff or where, where rules might change. This is from Highlander. Um, this is why I can mention in the intro here um, in Kentucky, right? Update the Kentucky general, uh, governor, sorry, uh, issued, acting more like a general, Governor issued Executive Order 2024-632, making it illegal to counsel a child with gender sexuality dysphobia. Now, this is going to make pastoring and parenting more dangerous. And if you're anything like me, you, that is a serious, serious concern. Um, the idea that, uh, that children cannot turn to their parents, their pastors, with questions, um, without the parents uh, being concerned about going to jail for what they may say. Uh, that is absolutely crazy as a major overreach uh, governmental authority uh, and the Kentucky governor should be impeached immediately or uh, recalled depending on the rules of the state. That is absolutely crazy. If you're in Kentucky, um, you need to be aware of that and you need to be pushing back on that as well. Uh, other states are probably going to try to follow suit if Kentucky is doing that. You can just imagine what New York and California, I mean, I know they've already ratified laws along those lines already, but uh, it's getting to be a lot more dangerous inside the United States uh, to deal with a lot of these things, to be concerned about um, you know, what you say and the thought police coming after you. This is from Ken, Northeast Tennessee. Keystone ground beef continues in shortage. Produce is improving in quality uh, with the end of record heat there. So we got uh, drought across Ohio and West Virginia. We got uh, record heat in Tennessee. Also uh, continued shortages in the dairy area, especially cheese. Uh, totally agree with the rancher's statements. Um, we just uh, talked about that the other day. Um, same as I'm hearing that uh, ranchers are getting rid of their breeding stock and that's a major concern long term for the beef production inside the United States. Truckers strike is highly likely. Now I haven't really seen uh, much talk about that out there, but the longshoremen are definitely uh, looking like they're going to be going on strike very shortly. Uh, it even some people saying that the, basically the longshoremen in some places have already kind of gone on quiet strike where they're really loading and unloading ships very slowly in order to uh, in order to drag things out and to start making more of an impact before uh, the strike even starts. All right, uh, and the interest rate cut. Yeah, that's a big one right there too. The major uh, interest rate cut, we've got 0.5% uh, cut from, uh, from Powell. Uh, him saying that everything is just fine, um, and yet he's doing an emergency cut to uh, the rates. That is just really hard to swallow, um, which is definitely going to cause inflation to go out of control. Uh, rate cuts 
go hand in hand with inflation increases. Uh, the U.S. government uh, debt load is going to be decreased, uh, less interest uh, that the federal government's going to have to pay. But at the same time, that also means that uh, we're going to be saving, getting a lot less money on interest uh, in our bank accounts. And uh, like I said, inflation is going to pick up because of that. Ashley says, uh, vinegar is hard to find in Utah. There wasn't any uh, at two separate Sam's Clubs. Um, I had uh, ordered from Amazon twice, but each time the shipment was lost. It was lost because the price doubled and the seller didn't want to ship at the lower cost, my opinion. I finally found a bunch of uh, half gallons of Kroger brand at Smith's for $9 a piece. I bought one and then tried uh, to order from Amazon again. All right. Almost Oily says, um, I have a uh, co-op power company and my bill is always lower than those on the ERCOT uh, Texas grid. I'm in Southeast Texas. My co-op, um, Chico or S-H-E-C-O or Sam Houston Electric Co Cooperative installed an updated meter a month or so ago. Okay, so be aware of this. Guess what? Yes, my bill doubled. So they got a smart meter and immediately their bill doubles. Um, also, with a smart meter, they can shut you off if they want to. If you've used up a little too much of electricity, if you use more than your fair share of electricity, they can shut you off. Isn't that wonderful? Um, it hasn't been this high since we got rid of the 220 volt uh, AC. If your uh, company wants to change your meter, be, f be sure to budget more money for the bill. Flyer Patty says, uh, also here along the Colorado River area, I have been... Uh, having trouble getting insulin. Um, we've been hearing about that for the last couple months, but we haven't heard that much about it just recently. Um, but um, I've had uh, extra for a number of times, so I, I have not run out, but I'm good probably for three months basically uh, because of the way I've done it. But the last two months I've had trouble getting my insulin, so I'm not the only one I'm sure across the country is having this problem. Insulin of course, is necessary for diabetics. Um, Joanne says, um, two weeks ago, I got a phone call from a guy that was uh, looking for eggs and frozen chicken. So let me know what you guys think about this. During our call, he's a local guy, during our call, he suddenly went off on the, the debacle that President Trump has caused the moment he ran and won in 2016. So, <laughs> uh, Joanne did not bring this up. The person just decided to start spouting anti-Trump stuff. Um, I had to stop him and ask him, what debacle? Three times. He didn't answer me with a coherent answer. Then I asked uh, him three more times if he was better off now than in 2020. No answer except, it will get better with Cam. <laughs> I stopped him and told him he needs to see a doctor for the affliction that he has, which is severe TDS. Then I told him to lose my number and denied him eggs and frozen chicken. I have had it with these people. It's so obvious uh, times are bad and are only going to get worse. There are those who are turning a blind eye because orange man bad. So what do you guys think about that? Um, is that something that you should do? I mean, is that something you should definitely not do? Uh, if, if, they, if they come at you, I mean, politically or, or start trying to push their political beliefs on you? Does that give you a reason to just uh, withdraw your services to them? Uh, it's a good question. I think we're going to be moving that direction, um, but I don't know if we're there yet. Petra says, uh, the organic produce I cannot grow, I choose to purchase at Whole Foods. We like to look around. Uh, if you can hear that, which I imagine you probably can, He's literally two buildings. There's two buildings between me and him. They literally are that loud. <laughs> they uh, have a massive loudspeaker system set up and they are literally trying to blast their message into the EU. Uh, and I don't know what it is, but uh, they have some country flag out there. So um, they look like Africans, but um, we have, um, so going to Whole Foods, um, they sell, uh, what they can't purchase elsewhere. Uh, we have not been uh, there for at least four weeks and we're surprised yesterday at all the empty shelf spaces. The shortages are not only affecting Aldi and Walmart, 
but uh, the higher income groups are starting to pay attention as they're seeing changes in places like Whole Foods as well. Um, what was surprising to me was the shortage of cereal grains and legumes. Um, we, uh, we use mainly basics, uh, not even commercially canned, uh, and the least processed cereals poss possible. So this struck home. Fortunately, I have been following my grandmother's footsteps by putting up the harvest for most of my 48 years of marriage, and we have a goodly supply. Be alert, people. Squirrel away your basics. Always good advice out there. Daniel says, update. I deliver food to restaurants in Colorado Springs, 10 stops. Two years ago, I'd been hauling roughly sixty dollars to $70,000 worth of food. Lately, I've been hauling over $100,000 worth of the same amount of food. So if that doesn't talk about the inflation, I don't know what does. Matt says, uh, Steve, my wife and I shop at BJ's whole Wholesale. We got groceries as well as protein shakes, Powerade, things of this nature that are much cheaper to buy in bulk. Over the last month, every week that we've uh, gone to the store in Massachusetts, the prices have gone up on these items every single time we visit it. Every single time. It's moving fast, friends. Our, on average, uh, things have gone up between a dollar and two dollars. It seems like every item in the store has gone up in price every time we visit, um, no matter how much um, we buy. Uh, not, not sure how much uh, more of this we can take before we can't afford these goods anymore. All right, friends, please do keep your reports coming in and let us know what you guys are seeing out there. Are you seeing similar things? Um, if you have an update, make sure you use the word update somewhere in your comment and give us some sort of geographical location if it's relevant to your comment. Um, if you guys want to find out more about Genesis Gold, there's a link right here on the screen. You can click right there and fill out the form and uh, they will get back to you with some information. If you want to just call them directly, you can find that down in the description down below always. Um, you can call them and ask them questions and uh, see if it's a good fit for you before you move forward with them. Uh, if you want to check out another video from this channel, there's one right up there. I'll see you over there or I'll see you guys later. Steve Poplar of the Poplar Report in Brussels, Belgium. Out.